Hey everyone, my name is Scott Bulat, Lawrence Pro Staff, and what I have here is an HDS Live 9, uh, a box I made myself, and a new Active Target module and transducer with battery. And I'm going to show you a quick tutorial, kind of how I'm going to wire it, and some tips and pointers, and hopefully we can get all these guys soldered up and wired strong so we don't have any issues with them not working. So I'm going to have a whole bunch of different videos here. I'll splice them all together and we'll see what we can do. What I want to do is I have a lithium 18 amp hour battery. I'm going to feed that to a fuse box and um, I'm going to run my active target out of a fuse, the HDS live out of a fuse, and I have four more fuses for if I want to add anything. I'm thinking I'm going to add an auxiliary port here if I want to add a second uh, battery while I'm out on the ice if this one dies if I'm out there too long I don't know how long these batteries are gonna last yet I don't know what battery I should be using so instead of while fishing on the ice pulling one out and putting another one back in I figure I'll just uh, slip in an auxiliary battery and just have an extra wire lead and then feed these two posts which will feed my fuse bank um, we'll start there I'll get some stuff uh, crimped and soldered. I like to crimp all my connections and then add some solder to it. I will show you that and um, we'll see you soon. Okay, now that I got the end crimped, I take my torch here, a little micro torch, some electrical solder. Just like to heat up the top and just run it in. I don't care if I get a little bit of burn on the rubber or on the plastic. At the end of the day, I want the wire soldered to the connector nice and strong. For this here, I'm soldering the yellow and the red from the active target. I'm going to extend it with a red wire to a switch, and then that switch is going to go to power. Uh, as it sits today, the yellow wire, wake up wire, is not turning off the active target when you turn off your MFD, therefore the active target module stays powered up. So what I like to use is these little waterproof slash solder connections. Myself, I already soldered the connection underneath because I like to just be sure of that, but I do like the waterproof capabilities. So I'm just gonna heat this up and shrink it down. I still will melt the solder ring just because it is there, but it's unnecessary because I've already already soldered the wires underneath. But just extra confidence with the with the waterproofing there. It is in a sealed box, but it's not waterproof sealed. So that's what I like to do there. And then I will extend that and I'll show you the switch after. Okay, so I got everything wrapped up here. What I did is I put a switch on the front of the box in this back, very front corner, back corner from where we're looking. When you flip the switch, you see the active target lights come on. One, two, three lights. They're all fed into this fuse box here. On the left side, the two orange fuses, those are five amp. Those are feeding my car, my HDS live and my active target. I put a spare fuse on the other side and I got a couple 20 amps in there for future other stuff I want to do. Uh, I bought this with a ground bus, so all the bottoms are negative, top is positive coming in. I like to color coordinate my wires. Everything that I brought over from the battery, it came over in 12 gauge. Again, I crimped, I soldered, heat shrink where necessary, and everything's good here. I got lights on. You'll have a green light on sonar, green light on ethernet and your power will flash green orange green orange when it is good to go um that's about it for this install it's it's pretty straightforward it's it's almost red to red black to black um but there's a few extra things in there i really push the soldering of the wires uh, i've seen guys crimp before and they just don't take uh, i'm one for definitely doing that um uh, I did add a post in this that holds my transducer mount. Um, it's a bolt 
underneath that I have a, a wire attached to it also grounded out for if you do this with an older unit like the TI units or the TI 2s I know this isn't about those units but I did put a, a bolt there so I can touch the negative post on the battery without opening up the box to to touch the screen with that ground loop issue uh, other than that this is pretty much it for now uh, that's the the wiring of the active target and the HDS live carbon or elite FS units.